All right, so it's been a while since I've shown you my MTG Arena decks, my account. It's been a bit, I uh, actually since opening week, but I have kept playing, and I'm doing all right. Just wanted to let you all see. Let's see, white or red spells. I think Is It Drake's is actually my best deck, but we're going to go with Jeskai Control for this one. All right, just wanted to show you. Uh, I think this might actually be my second best deck. All right, here goes nothing. And don't worry, I'll, I'll show you everything by the time... Yeah, it, well... Mm, yeah, I'll show you everything eventually. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long. Some of the decks are far enough from finish that I really don't think you get all that much from looking at them. Jungle Secrets is the original name for the Merfolk deck that's constantly being improved. Let's see. My opponent's going... I, I like this. I'll keep it. Three lands, getting another card in just a second. I think that's alright. Uh-oh. One tiny thing. Okay, so I'm going to say Sulphur Falls first. Yeah, unfortunately no mountains, islands, or plains in here. Okay. There is an island now. Pass. Does mean that Clifftop Retreat will still be just Boro Skill Gate at this point. Hey, but we got something. Uh, there's nothing on three, so I'm going to play the Memorial to Genius first. And that way I'll be able to play Planes next, have four and tapped for Tribunal if I need it. And then I can bring out Clifftop Retreats. Retreat, not retreats. Oh, whatever. And since I didn't need Tribunal, Chemistry's Insight will be next. I'm alright with that. And I do have a touch screen, so... Oh, you know what? I forgot to put my webcam on here somewhere. Let me, uh, take one more turn, please. Wait a minute, they're, uh, they're doing something. They'll give me a chance to add the webcam real quick. Do 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 What would that be? Video capture device. All right, da da da. Figuring this out. So they're gonna draw some extra cards as well. Level ten. Ooh, there I am. Hi everybody. Cool. It's just a tiny bit smaller. All right. Well. In that case, so we still play the retreat. Hmm. I'm gonna have to discard something. If I do, Shiv and Fire probably. I guess I could Lightning Strike here just to not have to lose it. It feels bad, and that's actually probably wrong, but I get some value out of it. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Planeswalker coming my, my before too long, though. If there is, I have Tribunal, which is what makes that decision viable, I think. Okay, do it again, bud, do it again. Huatli, okay. I'm alright with that. Still want to be a bit patient here, though. Hmm. And pass the turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ongrath? Is that his name? Oh, five mana. Eldest Reborn. Okay, that's uh, a whole lot of nothing to start. And we'll just, I guess we'll just one for one this with the Tribunal, honestly. Uh, it resolves. Um, it's not the most efficient usage of my mana, but I'll anticipate here. Ooh, hi Nezahal. Okay, so eventually, not yet, but eventually what I'll end up doing 
Did I say Nezahal? Yeah, Nezahal. Cool. I think that that's right. So this turn... A probably entirely too early tribunal. And... Pass the turn. Next turn... I guess I could do Huatli to try to bait something, and then Nezahal later, but Nezahal can't be countered. And I have so many cards in hand, they're not going to be able to deal with it. I may do it the other way around, actually, because Huatli is so good at... Um, ooh, hi, there we are. That's fine. Huatli is so good at you know, generating uh, cards you want against the control deck. Just creature after creature after creature after creature, turn after turn after turn. Alright. On to my turn. And a cleansing of it a bit. Okay, so I'm looking at 8 lands and it takes 7 for Nezahal. Uh, but they only have 2 mana up, so they're not likely to counter Huatli if, if, it comes, if she comes down. Now, I'm actually going to plus here, even though I don't have a creature. And the reason is because I don't want to lose it to a lightning strike. Although, if I had thought about it, I would have actually just made a dino there, because they clearly don't have a lightning strike. And the way that I know that they don't have it is because MTG Arena only delays you if you either give it full control, using a control key like this, or if you have a play, and if they don't have a play, oh, here comes another El oh, no, no, that's not Eldest. That's Dream Eater. Interesting. Alright, so bunch of surveilling will be going on. We're just gonna let that resolve. And they'll return Huatli to hand. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, no, 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 they're targeting... Oh, okay, that makes a good bit more sense. Hmm. Much better, actually. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, un unfortunate. I see, I see. Alright, well... Oops. Oops, indeed. Huh. On to my turn. Let's see what I get here. Rouserek. So I can Cleansing Nova to take care of Eldest Reborn. Wait a minute. How many lands do I have? I have eight. So not quite enough for Shiv and Fire and uh, Conclave Tribute. I could double Shiv and Fire and take out the Dream Eater. Which is actually probably what I'll end up doing, to be honest. Raul could come down just to take care of the Dream Eater. Um, but then I wouldn't have a way to get rid of Eldest Reborn. So, janky as it may be, huh, I, I could Rowl, draw, hope to get a land, an untapped land, and if I do, then I can have four for Conclave Tribunal. Alright, so we're going to go Rowl first. Plus, unwind. That's interesting. Uh, hmm. I do want to do this while they don't have counter magic up. Boom. And boom. It's not great. It's a two-for-one just on that, plus the Surveil. Uh, but I'm not so worried, so let's see. Oh, uh, we'll take the Seal away. That's not doing much this game, honestly. So many freaking cards in hand, though, dude. Ooh. Yeah, Vraska's Contempt is good. That's, uh, that's what I hear. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. 
Well, we're not going to not play the stone quarry, so we might as well do that first. Conclave Tribunal. I'm forgetful enough, I'm worried that. Alright, so we're going to hold up Unwind Chemistry's Insight. Unwind has been interesting in the deck. Since it's mostly a flash deck, I actually rather prefer it. I rather like it. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination, but that is going to resolve, and I'm actually going to let it take Unwind, despite what I just said. Now, we need to deal with that Nicol Bolas. Oh, you idiot! Ah, Chemistry's Insight, discard Unwind to jumpstart it, draw two cards. That's what I should have done. That is absolutely what I should have done. <sighs> ah, it's whatever. Okay, so at least we have options now. We can Rowl to kill it. Let's see. Don't have enough to Cleansing Nova and... I mean, I guess I could take a risk and plus Rao to try to... No, no, no. We're, we've learned our lesson. Let's Nova this first. Yeah, we're going to destroy all creatures. All one creature. Welcome to Rass in the Control Mirror. Jeskai versus Gris <laughs> Grixis. Alright, so they have something. Is it a Defiant Stroke, or are they just holding up Strike? All right, it's dead, Jim. Pass turn. In a pinch, if push really, really comes to shove, then I could chemistry's insight here. I doubt it. Okay, that's fine. That resolves. Let's see. How many cards? It says 36 to my 36. Played last night a match where uh, it actually came to drawing <laughs> my opponent drew themselves out by a card all right okay um well first want to try to build up some cards before Nezahal You know, walk right into that surveil counterspell, I suppose. Maybe that's what's going on. They're manually tapping, though, so maybe not. Yep, that's it. Sinister Sabotage. Called it. That's okay. It's not ideal, but we'll live with it. Alright, so if nothing else happens, end of turn. End of my opponent's turn. Chemistry's Insight, discard the island, jumpstart it, then I'll draw for turn and have Nezahal and three cards for backup. I think I can live with that. Let's go on to my turn. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. Hey there, Chandra. So what's the... I am well behind on the lore. Uh, not of Orthos, I'm afraid. Are these two, like... A thing? Is that how that works now? Yeah, I know, I know. They're free, they're available online. I just... Mm, haven't been into it. Okay, Sinister Sabotage. I could just do the blind Nezahal. Not blind, the naked Nezahal. Sounds a little weird. Or I could go for Karn first and still hold up Memorial to Genius to draw some cards. Just gonna try to overwhelm their ability to deal with my cards. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the card advantage rate. For the aforementioned reason. Uh oh. Raskus Contempt? What is this? What is going on? Dispersal. Ooh, okay. Oh, interesting. So they're going to Conclave Tribunal, and they're going to... Okay, they're going to take my card in here. Clever. Clever. Uh, and then discard a card. 
I guess I could keep Karn around if I do if I drop Mezahal instead. <sighs> no, you, no, I, I can't because they're about to Eldest Reborn to get back Karn. Jeez. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is so good. This is a good good play. Oh, I could have I could have done Karn. Jay, you idiot. That was an option. It's it's hidden. But yes, I could have done Karn instead. So Nezahal, dropping Nezahal is the I want to win. Conclave Tribunal is the I want to not lose. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, that's not supposed to be con Conclave Tribunal. That's supposed to be uh, um, Ixalan's Binding, I believe it's called. Same mana cost, but you know, exiles an online permanent and keeps them from casting ones with the same name. I'm going to keep that in my hand, actually. No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. That's correct. There we go. That's correct. That's I, I knew I had a reason for that. Whew. Okay. They're about to get a Planeswalker, though, and that Planeswalker is going to be... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well... Mm, I guess I'll play Azor. Azor will die. Or get countered here. How many sinister sabotages do you have, dude? Just all of them, I guess. Alright, good news. If they do reanimate Azor with Eldest Reborn, they won't be able to use its activated ability. So there is that, at least. I can live with that. Unless there's some chromatic lanterns. Ah, oh, god. Okay, fine. Sorcerer Speed, Chemistry's Insight. Digging for a land, I get. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. That was at the end of my turn. Never mind. Talking so much, I confuzzled myself. Okay, that makes more sense. And we're going to transform it. You know what? I'm just going to call that game, I think. I'm just going to call that game. So it'll transform. It can get back another creature or planeswalker immediately. And then I lose. So I uh, forgot to tell my opponent hi, but I'll tell them good game. You got me. You got me. All right, biggest punt of that was, there, there were two big punts. I had Chemistry's Insight I could jumpstart in response to, I guess it was the discard from Eldest Reborn. So that's one. And the next punt was I could have actually discarded Karn, or uh, bounced Karn, so that when Eldest Reborn came down, there would be no uh, creatures or planeswalkers for it to make me sack. And then I'd still have Conclave Tribunal. If, I, if that works the way I think it works, See, bounce non-land permanent with the highest CMC you control. Karn and Conclave Tribunal were the same. So if I bounce Karn, actually they wouldn't even have Eldest Reborn, because Tribunal's still out. Okay, so that's a thing. Jeez. Oh well. Punts, punts. At least I'm recognizing my punts. Every now and then. I'd like to try that one more time, get my, uh... And get enough coins to open a pack so that we can have an unpacking. Yeah, we'll have a pack opening. There we go. At the end of this. Make it worth your trouble, hopefully. Packs are so small, though. It's, it's a half-pack opening. Alright, come on. Show me a hand. Any day now. It's not frozen because I can see the priority on my opponent is... Uh, is moving. <laughs> this nice little wave or some odd. Oh, come on. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Reconnect. Please don't tell me. Does it, it doesn't hurt your, uh, your status, your rank for doing that, right? Ugh! I hate it when that happens. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, so, uh, let's try that again, shall we? 
Log in. You know what? Um, okay, we're gonna put, we're gonna close this part down just for a moment. And I just remembered because I can't see my face on here. So I just remember that you all could see my face the whole time. So you can see me do this. You can see me play with my beard the whole stinking time. All right, we're back. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Uh, I'm going to be beating myself up about those parts all day. That is how that works, I guess. All right. Um, this is keepable, so I'll keep. I'm going to start off with a Memorial to Genius, so that I can anticipate next turn. The alternative is hold up Seal Away next turn, but that's less important when I'm on the play. He says, as a Goblin Banneret comes down. Okay, well, I have made my bed. Now I must lie in it. That's okay. That's okay. As I recall, I think Mentor only works on attacking creatures. On target attacking creatures, so the other creature would have to have haste to benefit from it this turn. Alright. Move on a bit. Take that damage. Hey, buddy. You seem pretty cool. Yeah, you resolve, alright. Let's anticipate, see what we can get. I would like to have a fourth land here. Click top retreat. Um, it has Mentor too, doesn't it? It does. So the next turn I'd be dealing with 2-2 two, two there. I can live with that, because otherwise I'm about to take 2 anyway. So we'll just play it patiently. And see what happens. Tajik? Come on. Gotta have them. Somewhere in there. Oh dear. Sorry about that. Once again, there's a camera, so you see me yawning like a, like a barbarian or something. I'm a little too hard on myself, and I know. I'm sorry about that. Alright. Indestructible won't work on this. Who'd we pick, by the way? Okay. Makes sense. Cool. And... Whenever it decides to resolve... It takes a moment because their Dauntless Bodyguard ability is always going to be an option, so, yeah, that's fine. But, okay, so I'll take two here. I can live with that. As long as it's your turn, this thing has First Strike. Okay. Not worried about that one bit. So instead of playing Karn... I think I want to... I would like to... Hmm. There's not much of a reason for doing this now. Not that I can think of. They're not going to not attack with it. They're going to attack with it. Oh, wait a minute, there was a reason. So if... They're all right now, too. If I had done it on my turn, they wouldn't have the mana... There it goes. There it goes. That's fine, we have a strike, but, uh, that's, that's a reason to do it on my turn. As it was, though, it forced them to use up mana, needlessly, so it actually ended up being better doing it that way, I suppose. So we, we lucked into a, a reasonable line of play. Alright. 
Take both of you. It may seem a little excessive going after so many of these creatures, but I'd like to have as little damage on the board as possible before I start playing a walker. Yep. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Let's have all the little buddies. Okay. Lions. I can go... Karn, make a dude. Dude will keep the bodyguard from. Go yeah, okay. And if they attack, even if they attack with both, there's still a Karn will be left at one. So that, that's a stall play. That's not actually getting me much of anywhere. Uh, if they have a lightning strike or a shock, I'm just going to get punished hard. If they had a lightning strike or a shock, actually, that's fine, because uh, I would actually still lose Karn if that were the case. I'd take 2 plus 2, he'd be at 6, so minus 2 minus 2 is 2, and then shock or lightning strike. So it's fine doing it this way. At least with this line, I have the potential to either take out the bodyguard or... Oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Are you going to attack with both? Who else? Just... Okay. So another line there is I could have kept the little dude so that he could help me block for Rao. Playing with a touch screen, so that's what all this is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a negative chance that they let me. Ah. Uh, well, to be expected. I guess we play Rowl out now. If I minus, I actually lose both my planeswalkers in the next combat. So we have to plus. See what we get. Ooh, okay. Get another seal away. And then insight later on. I guess we'll do this now. Okay. Here goes nothing. Now, even though they have enough to kill the Ral Zarek, the, the Ral is at Viceroy, they have to kill the Karn because they know that Settle the Wreckage has a silver counter on it. So somebody's going on Karn duty, which means that Ral will survive. Oh, okay, never mind, they're both dead. Plus two, plus one, first strike. No one cares about that last part. You're always going to attack. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Please stop that. Uh, yeah? Uh. Well, do this now, I guess. As soon as it lets me. Stone Quarry, hold up Chemistry's Insight that they don't know about. Yeah, that they do. It's, it's in the graveyard. They, someone's going to take me seriously. Alright. Okay. I'm at nine. These Boros decks, man. I dig it. They're cool. Alright, first strike damage, regular damage,
Um, it's more important that I have the blue, I suppose. Yeah, I'm counting three blue and four white already out. Come on. Okay, okay. I can live with that. Don't, don't you do it. You just saw that they have an aura, Jay. You just saw that they have an aura. Could be another sea raid. You never know. I'm essentially just stalling for a cleansing nova or a settler wreckage at this point. Okay. Okay. That's kind of an aura. Alright, who's getting it? Targeting Legionnaire? Of course it is. No, thank you. No, thank you. Rather not say we didn't. Okay, Trample Vigilance. Right. Gotta find it. One turn to do it. That's... Start? Sure. Okay. There we are. That's not nothing. It's inconceivable that <laughs> inconceivable that I I win this from one life. But I'm gonna try. Might as well keep playing. Hmm. What is that? <sighs> Tribunal. Okay, I. that's fine. That's fine. No, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. They didn't take Rao. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Good game. You got me. You know what? I shouldn't have conceded there. I should have let it go out on, uh, on their terms. They earned it. That was worth it. If you have one more, I'm going to give it one more. Alright. Come on. Come on. Show me a sign. Okay. Load very slowly. No reverse psychology. Okay. Alright, I haven't won one yet, so I'm gonna go into this mode. What is going on? Seriously, game. You are not usually this slow. You are not remotely this slow most of the time. Anyone home? Okay. <sighs> I have somewhere to be. <laughs> Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. That's more than I had, I think, so... Did I... get my reward? Hello? 
What happened to all this over here? Is it just loading really slowly? Whoa, man. If at first you don't succeed, close out. Hope it still remembers that you earned some gold, maybe? That's a I might have been at 650 and then gained 500 from the... Oh. Oh, is that what's showing? Okay, now OBS is messing with me. Oh, wow. This is breaking hard. <laughs> I, I, hopefully I'll remember to cut that out. And we're back. <laughs> hopefully. It's still being a little bit slow, but we'll, we'll take it, I guess. Uh, I want to keep going until I get one win. And I did say I'd show you my other decks. Jessica Control is not my best deck on here, so we're going to show you. I'm going to show you my best deck. Let's see where we go from there. Oh, uh, hello. I actually didn't even quite make... You know what? That's close enough. We're going to play Drake's. We're going to play Drake's. Enough of this nonsense. <laughs> it says... It looks like Grixis. It actually is a Drake's. The one card that's black. I will not be casting it for the black mana. It's, um... Discovery uh, something. Hello, um, no. Am I not going to get a single win in? Is that how this is going to go? Okay. And I want Crackling Drake, but no, it's fine. probably should have done Steam Vents Tapped. Okay, too late. Doesn't matter. All right, now we'll play it Tapped. I, I kind of don't care about this game right now. After that Mulligan, I, I lost my faith in this game. I guess it's possible. It, it could be a thing. We'll Drake here, try to bait something out for my opponent. Bait murder, I guess. I'd be fine. Okay. Well. We'll opt first. There's the black card. Yeah, we'll keep that. That's absolutely fine. That is a million percent fine. Discovery. I'm not doing this on the touch screen. Beacon Bolt, but I don't know what my opponent's on. But, well, Beacon Bolt can go in the grave, actually, because I can still use it from the grave. Get a new card. Oh, that's fine. Combat, Wombat, one, um, shock. Seems a little bit early, but I'd like to do a little bit more damage. Drake gets bigger. I have Beacon Bolt as backup. Hold back the Drake. Uh, the other Drake, the Crackling Drake. Draw an Opt. That's fine.
there's a negative chance that they have nothing here. There's a Vraska's Contempt, I'm sure. Alright, so do the math here. They go to 12, then they take 7 and go to 5. So I don't need to use the Opt preemptively. Negate. Okay, um, I'm okay with that, actually. Uh, they'll still take 7, go to 7. The only other play I can think of there, it's, I guess it's fine to opt here, actually. Now I've given away that I don't have a negate of my own. Ooh. Alright, we're getting dangerously close to just double striking them. Because I could, if I draw a land, I could go Drake and destroy. Ooh. Oh, please, minus. Please, minus. I dare, you've got, you have to, okay. You need to take time out. Okay. If I Drake, if I play the, if I Drake, that's, that's, I would have to draw into a red land, a red, some red mana. I do not want to take that risk. We're just going to get rid of Teferi now, while I can. Just nice time? little, little trade there. Okay. Bad Lightning Bolt for Good Planeswalker is a, is a trade I like to take. Um, Rao, because I can... I, I should play the island there, I suppose. So I have a hybrid mana up, dual mana up, is it mana up. Uh, but I can win with the Drake out of nowhere if I find a maximized velocity. So it's fine to keep that in my back pocket, just as my secret weapon. Okay. That's okay. That's pretty good. Surveil, four. Fine. Fair enough. They will get one attack in on me before I can beacon bolt it. Oh. Yeah, the, the Drake from earlier. We'll take it. I could have held that back. I would like to be able to play Drake and Beacon Bolt on the same turn, though. Um, though, that being the case, I could have waited till next turn anyway. There's Maximize Velocity. Do I go for it? Not with that much open mana. No, I, I need to play a little bit more Preserve. So, we'll Beacon Bolt. Unfortunately, this is going to give away that I have it. Ooh. Hmm. Beacon bolt again. <sighs> that's that's tough. That's tough. I guess I can Drake and then use my top deck for that. Because they, they can't really hold the Dream Eater back as a blocker. They know the other Beacon Bolt's there. So they're going to have to hold up a counter spell for it for next turn. And use the Dream Eater as a blocker. So even if they can kill the Drake, which they're about to do right here... Um, Still have to deal with a beacon bolt. Okay, I'm okay with this. Kakate Koi, come at me, bro. Go to 12. Okay, so what's their mana up? They have two mana up. So they can't murder. What can they do? Really, honestly, what can they do here? I think I just go for it. 10. Now wait a minute, if I maximize velocity... No, 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 Crackling Drake counts exile, so it's okay. I'm gonna go for it. No, 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 don't go for it yet. Don't, you can't, actually. The reason I can't go for it is because I don't have the second red mana.
got there. Um, just in case this fails, I'll keep the lightning strike up. Because that way I'd have something to deal with Dream Eater. They, they earned that. They earned that. <sighs> Sabotage? You have something. Syncope. That resolves. While well, I have an opportunity. No cards in hand. Yikes. And that's what? Uh, chemistry's insight? Yeah. So not looking good for T1 over here. Oh, and that's a separate chemistry's insight. Yeah. Definitely hold that up. <sighs> yeah, okay. Fair enough. You know what, I really should be holding full control just in case. Uh. Um... I've seen syncopate, so it's perhaps in my interest to keep a good bit of mana up. Hmm. I don't know, what do you think? Yep. Not giving up, I still have that maximized velocity in the yard. Okay, that could be worse. Okay, this lets them hold up sabotage. So I, I think I have to beacon bolt here first. No, I do actually, because I need to get clear the blocker. Whoa! Whoa! So they'll block with Thief of Sanity, because they have to. Teferi will spin Crackling Drake. Yeah, I, I have to. I have to do this, actually, because otherwise Thief of Sanity is just going to hit me. The only other thing I can think of doing here is I can use Crackling Drake to attack Teferi. I'd give them one turn with Thief of Sanity. I have two cards in hand. I'm going to hope my opponent doesn't get anything glorious off the top of my deck with a Thief of Sanity. Alright. Here goes nothing. Spin the top, what you going to get? It's three cards from the top of my deck. It's spinning the top as far as I care. That said, they have the mana to cast everything in my deck. I think I have both Rowls in the yard, right? Wait, haven't I played a Rowl this game? No, apparently not. 
What'd you get? Ah, there's Rao. Okay, so cast down. And... <laughs> you are tearing me apart! <laughs> I'm just not gonna win one this day. This day, am I? Here goes my rank. Hmm. Drop me down to bronze too. Yep. Oh well. I guess I'll open a pack. At least we'll get that much in here. No. No, we're winning one game first. Wait. We won? A Did that disconnect make me win a game? Is that what happened? That, that doesn't... Fine, that, that's, that's the one. I said earlier, I have somewhere to be. And open some Dominaria because I am after those Karns and Teferis. And a few others, but we'll take that. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. I can live with that. I may have a deck where that can go in. Maybe. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's that. Um, yeah. Let me show you real quick what the deck looks like, just in case you were interested. So four ops, three spell pierces, because they wanted to show up, double maximized velocity, four shocks, four anticipates, four lightning strikes, three discovery disperses, that's the other side, uh, three beacon bolts, which might be a little high, uh, four enigma drakes, four crackling drakes, and we're not as low to the ground. We're running one of each, well, they're both rallies of rise, or one's a, uh, a masterpiece, Joys of being in the closed beta, and then you. <laughs> Just regular one. Uh, so I could lower the curve by replacing these with something like, for instance, uh, Goblin Electromancer, or I do actually have a copy of the, the uh, you know what, I'm going to take you out and put in our good Phoenix friend. Where are you, buddy? A arc light phoenix, you're coming to join the join the brawl. Spell pierces. I mean, it's gotten me there a few times, but this isn't just standard. This is really slow standard on MTG Arena because people are less likely to add the cards that they need, and so they're playing with suboptimal choices, which usually slows the game down. So because of that, spell pierce is not great, admittedly. And so it may even come out. I had Defiant Stroke in that slot, but I just felt that there were enough times when I needed the mana. I needed... When I, I w did not have the mana to Defiant Stroke. could also play Negate there. Uh, partially because it's a good card and partially because of the meme. Alright, and that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.